Hello everyone. Today I'm going to introduce a new simple and effective technique for reasoning in knowledge bases in which the reasoning rules required to answer a query about an entity are derived dynamically from other entities in the knowledge base. Our approach is simple, requires no training, and is reminiscent of case-based reasoning in classical AI. I'm Rajorshi, and this is a joint work with Ameya Kotbole, Shazad Dhulyawala, Manzil Zaheer, and my advisor, Professor Andrew McCall. Automated reasoning is defined as the ability of computing systems to infer new facts from observed evidence. We are interested in automated reasoning over large knowledge bases with rich and diverse semantic types. Knowledge bases provide an excellent aspect for automated reasoning, and here's why. The first step in creating a knowledge base is to gather a lot of text and identify the entities present in them, followed by connecting them with semantic relations. This figure represents a toy knowledge graph in which the entities are nodes in the graph represented in uh, colorful rectangles and the relations are represented as labeled edges. Even in this toy knowledge graph, we can infer several unobserved facts. For example, we can infer that Andrew lives in the United States by doing compositional reasoning on the observed facts that he works at UMass, which is located in Amherst, which is located in the US. Or the fact that I work at UMass because I'm a graduate student working with Andrew who works at UMass. There has been an area of work which learns this logical inference rule from data and stores them in the model parameters. This paper, we argue that reasoning can also be very contextual and the reasoning rules required to answer a query can heavily depend on the entities present in the query. For example, consider the following query, which is always there in every graduate student mind when they're getting ready to travel to a conference. Do I need visa for traveling to AKBC 2021? This translate, translates to the following knowledge base query. Now to answer this question, it would really depend on the, the type of passport I hold. For example, do I have a diplomat passport or not? Or the list of countries which offer visa on arrival to Indian citizens or the current political allies of India. Note, the reasoning rules would be different for other people. For example, it would be really different for Andrew. <laughs> Moreover, the rules to answer this question are dynamic in nature because they inherently depend on the foreign policy of a country which keeps changing with time. In a nutshell, to answer such queries need different fine grain rule for each entity, and hence it becomes hard to store all of them in the model parameters. Also, it's unclear how the, parameter, the parametric models will adapt when the underlying data changes. The contributions of this work is to develop an approach which learn fine grain rules tailored for each entity by deriving logical rules dynamically from other similar or contextual entities rather than storing them in parameters. In fact, other than the entity embeddings, our model has no parameters. And, the, and since the rules are, are derived at inference time for each entity, it can handle updates or changes to data seamlessly. First, a small primer on what case-based on case-based reasoning. So CBR is is described as a process of solving new problems based on solution to similar past problems. <laughs> For example, consider an automated mechanic trying to fix a car by recollecting past memories of them solving other cars with similar problems. A case is an abstract representation of a past problem and its solution. CBR is a four-step process 
The first step is retrieving the relevant cases from memory given a new problem, followed by trying to reuse the solutions to previous cases. However, sometimes the solution might not work out of the box. In that case, the solution should be revised accordingly. If, was, if the revised solution work, then the new case is added back to the memory. How do we represent a case in our knowledge base setting? For each fact in the knowledge graph, we collect a random sample of paths which connect the two entities in the fact. So a case is represented as a pair of the fact and a set of a random sample of paths up to a certain length, connecting the entities in the fact. We repeat this process for every, every fact in the knowledge graph, and thus we have a case memory. Now for a new, a new query, we retrieve k relevant uh, cases from memory. This is followed by <clears throat> gathering the paths from those cases, and then removing the entities so that these paths are now just a sequence of relation types. This is followed by um, sorting them with, with respect to frequency. <clears throat> Next, we for each path, we symbolically match them to paths in the neighborhood of the query entity. Note how the first two paths get matched, but the last two don't because these paths don't exist in the neighborhood of the query entity. Lastly, the entities which are at the end of paths are returned as answers. Our models, our model represent entities as a sparse vector of its neighborhood relations. This is a very simple way of representing an entity, but it can be easily extended, for example, to include entity information in the neighborhood or can be re replaced by dense embeddings from trained neural models. Apart from these sparse entities, our model requires no other parameters and does not require any, any training. The similarity is, is the cosine similarity between entities. And for, for a given query, we consider only those entities for which we observe the query relation. Coming to the experiments, our task is knowledge-based completion in which we predict the head or tail entities given an unobserved triple. We test our model on um, three academic knowledge graphs and our baselines are several state-of-the-art parametric rule learning or embedding-based methods. On the net data set, our approach outperforms all other rule, rule learning or embedding based approaches, gaining over more than three points in accuracy. On the WordNet dataset, our approach performs competitively with, with all rule learning and embeddings based approaches, except for the newly proposed rotate model. And on the subset of Freebase, we not only outperform embedding and rule learning approaches, but we also outperform approaches which observe the logical rules required during training. Lastly, we find that our, our method is able to gather more fine-grained rules for every query type in the NIL dataset when compared to Minerva, which is an existing rule learning approach. Please refer to the paper for other experiments on low data settings and even more analysis. We introduce a general framework with a lot of exciting future directions. For example, learning richer entity representation and a better similarity metric, better matching of paths improving upon our simple symbolic matches, and considering subgraph instead of paths as solution to cases. In conclusion, we introduce a new approach that 
derives reasoning rule dynamically for each entity and requires no training and outperforms existing rule induction methods and are comp comparable to existing embedding based approaches. Our methods have a lot of exciting future directions. Thank you.